Ain't no bitch fucking with me. Homie, ain't no bitch fucking with me. channel you guys today I'll be coming to you with a new video on how I watercolor my hair that I got from Miss Lula's hair company on Aliexpress stay tuned okay guys so this is my package I'm gonna open it. comes in this bag it says 12 inches right here it also comes with a wig cap So this is the wig itself. It comes with a hairnet on the outside of it. Okay, pretty good. Hmm. What do you guys think? It's pretty soft, not gonna lie. This is 100% human hair. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is the lace. Okay, I'm gonna check the shedding. There's no shedding so far. No shedding. No shedding. Once, well, once one strand of hair came out so far. Two strands. Three, four. Five. and that's it so so far only five strands of hair came out and that may be because this is blonde hair you guys you have to keep in mind that the company dyes the hair not dye it they bleach the hair in order for it to have this bright blonde color you know so that is going to be expected, so don't really, I wouldn't recommend you guys to complain about, you know, hair shedding because it is a wig, it is blonde, and that's usually what happens. Like, hair isn't always going to be perfectly on, like, it is a wig, you know. So one thing I would say about this hair is I think I should have got probably 150 density because you can kind of see the tracks I don't know if you guys can see that but you see the tracks like you can kind of see it but only if you're really staring really hard you can like see it but it's not that bad like I feel like it's bearable like you can deal with it like it's not that serious so we're gonna go on the inside of the wig And it has four clamps to it with adjustable straps. I was really nervous about getting blonde from AliExpress because, you know, like, blonde is, like, really... It's really hard finding good blonde hair. So, yeah, I was a little nervous about getting it from AliExpress itself. But now that it's here, I would definitely say that I actually like it. Like, it's really not that bad. As for the lace, I don't know if I should bleach the knots a little more or, you know, 
I might add makeup to the roots so it blends in well with my skin tone. It smells pretty good. I would rate it, hmm, probably, probably a seven, you know, probably a seven. It's not that bad. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. And I have my wig right here. I have my gloves. You're going to need gloves, especially if you have on nails. I do not have on nails right now, but I'm going to use gloves. I don't want to stain up my hands or anything like that. I also have two bottles of Adore in the color Titanium. I don't know if you guys can see this. And the number is 155 on the bottle. I will also be using my Shimmer Lights shampoo, coconut oil, bold hold. Do, 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 do. Yo, I'm so hyped to be using this today. Y'all don't even know. Yo, I heard so many good reviews about Bold Hold, so I just, I really hope, you know, when I try it today, it's going to be great. I'm really excited to be trying this. I also have my Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. My Got To Be Glued Styling Gel Glue. Scissors, brush, comb, and... I have my water right here. Ugh. So right now I am just squirting a few pumps of my Shimmer Light shampoo. And what this is going to do is basically get rid of some of the brassiness yellow tone from the blonde hair. You're gonna really wanna watch your hair in the water. So I'm gonna dip it in and just play with it. Okay? I'm gonna be really careful. I don't really care about the lace and the cap as much, so I'm just gonna dip it. So what this shampoo does is gets rid of some of the brassy orangish yellow tone in the blonde 613 hair. And if you want to achieve, you know, like an ash gray, ash blonde, gray color, you don't want any of the blonde brassy yellow tone in your wig or your bundles at all. I don't want to leave this because I'm really scared. I do not want it to be super gray or super purple or anything. I really want it to be like a nice shade of gray, but not too gray, if you know what I mean. Sort of like a ash blonde, ash brown, ash gray color.
So I'm back with another batch of water. And this is what the hair is looking like after the first, hold on guys. <sighs> after the first batch of, you know, shampoo, that's the water. Comment down below if you feel like it got a little lighter. I really don't know and I cannot tell. So I will be doing it again. And if it doesn't work with shimmer lights, I'm gonna start using my Adore. I mean, I don't know, I feel like it's getting a little lighter. It's not really brassy, you know, so. So I just squirted three pumps of this shampoo. And once again, I am using my Shimmer Lights shampoo, blonde and silver. This cost me, uh, how much was this? It was $16.99, and I got it from a local beauty supply store. You can get it from any local beauty supply store, also online. And once again, what this does is it tones down the brassiness on blonde hair slash gray hair. Um, it also renews and refreshes faded highlights and ash-toned hair. Removes dull yellow and gray and white hair. So yeah, that's what it does. Now that I mix that, I'm gonna dip my blonde back in. So I'm going to try to leave this in for about two minutes. It does say leave it in for about five to three minutes, but I don't want it to come out so gray or, you know, I just, I'm really, I'm really scared right now. That's all I'm going to say. And I don't want it to come out crazy looking. So to prevent all of that, I'm going to really watch it. I'm going to really babysit the hair. And this goes for you guys also. If you are not looking to have super, super gray hair, I would advise you to really babysit, watch your hair, okay? Watch it, count down one minute, two minutes, a few seconds. You can pull it up, check on it, because, you know, I really don't want it to be super, super gray. So, yeah. And you're going to want to make sure every single strand of hair is gotten to, you know? So I'm just going to put it in like that and wait for a few seconds. So I'm going to put my gloves back on. Uh, I allow the hair to sit for about five minutes or so because I let it sit for like three minutes and I was checking it and it really wasn't doing much to the hair. So I'm just going to check right now and see what's going on because like, hello, I need to like get it together. Like, hair, wake up. Okay, so we're going to see what it's looking like. Ooh, honey. I feel like it's working, y'all. What y'all think? It's coming out that nice shade that I like. What is it? No, it's not. I don't know, y'all. I feel like it's just getting lighter. It's not really doing anything. It's just, it's just getting lighter, literally. So... It's really not doing much but making the blonde lighter. So I'm just gonna rinse this out in the bathroom and I'm gonna come back and add some gray to the water and this is gonna be the last the last batch of water that I do, hopefully, if it actually takes to the um, to the gray, because it's really not doing much right now. So I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back with my water and I'm back with my wig. I just rinsed it out. So now this is what it's looking like. Right. Cool. So I'm gonna start using the gray. I'm really scared. I'm just gonna add one drop, okay? One drop. Bam. Where's the comb? Oh, right here. <laughs> so as you can see, I only added one drop to it. I think it's going to turn the water on purple. 
had another drop. I'm gonna dip it in, I'm a little bit scared. Y'all, I'm scared for my life right now. Cause like, if this don't come out good, somebody gotta fight me, no cap. <laughs> no cap, y'all. No cap. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm nervous. Y'all don't even know. Because, like, you know, oh, my God. You guys, my friends could comment right now. Listen, I've been trying to try this color gray, ash, ash blonde, ash whatever you want to call it. I've been trying to try this color for so long. I even tried to do it for my birthday last year. That came out totally wrong. And I don't even want to talk about that. But, like, listen. I really hope this comes out good. Okay, I see a little bit of gray going on. Ooh. That's good. Yes, honey, I see that gray. I see that gray. <laughs> I'm hot, y'all. I see the gray. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. It's only taken to some areas, though. So as y'all can see. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Honey. Pop out with the gray. Okay. How it's looking, y'all, so far. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like, it's kind of gray. It's kind of gray. So this is the lace <clears throat> front of here. It's coming, I don't know, like, I feel like it's like too gray up here, right? And then it's like, back here is like, eh. I'm, I'm gonna just, <sighs> I'm scared, y'all. So I'm fucking scared right here.
<clears throat> okay, y'all. So I'm back. I'm mad loud, right? I'm scared. Like, honestly, comment. What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? Please. Please. I don't want it to be... I really do not want it to be super gray, like I said earlier. And... I don't know. Is it looking super gray? Is it looking like like a nice tone? Like like what is like I don't know. Like what is it? <laughs> like what is it? What's going on? What is what's <sighs> I'm scared. I'm scared. It's like it's like tones of gray in here, but it's like not really gray. And it's like I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know. And it's looking kind of purple. Don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. All right. I'm back. This is the hair so far. And I, let's just say, I don't know what color this is really coming out. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go back in. I think I'm going to go back in with some gray. With just a little bit of gray. So I'm going to do one drop of gray. And one drop of purple shampoo. Not much of a difference. So yeah. I'm going to just do both. From the looks of it, I feel like some areas can definitely use some gray. I am not gonna let this sit, y'all, at all. So now I think it's really gray and nice. What do y'all think? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> gonna rinse it out because I feel like it's super gray now, and I do not want it to be so gray. So now I'm gonna rinse this, and I'll be back. Okay. All right. So I just finished rinsing my hair. And this is how it came out so far. It's not super, super gray, and I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm very happy with the results. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't even know. So, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some silicone mix. The hair did not change whatsoever. It still feels really good, I'm loving it no shedding none of that so i'm just gonna add some silicone mix just to you know restore any chemicals that are in that was in the dye or whatever just so my hair can last a little longer so i'm just gonna pour some of this in this water almost like the watercolor method but all i'm really doing is conditioning the hair so, I'm just going to mix it with my hand and dip the hair in nicely. And I'm going to let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and I will be back when it's done soaking and yeah this is what it looks like so far i'm not even gonna say so far because i'm like done or whatever so far <laughs> yeah so far i'm done yeah and this is what hair is looking like yes honey yes honey yes baby <laughs> 
Okay. There's, it's just like, wow. This is exactly what I was going for. This look is amazing. And I love it dearly. Okay. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful shade of gray. 50 shades of gray. And this shade right here is the one I love. I love it. I am in love, you guys. It's just so dope, you know? It's, it's, I'm, I'm really appalled. I'm happy. And I'm very loud. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs>